everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen, I post videos three times a week and today's video is going to be my Poundland Christmas hamper video. So I saw Mr. Carrington do this video. I will leave his video link down below and I was really inspired to do my own things. Poundland have lots of great little gift sets and bits of bobs that would make a great hamper together. So this is going to be today's video. I hope you enjoy watching. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below and if you have any more hamper ideas then please let me know in the comments. So yeah, let's get straight into this video. The hampers are actually all in these big boxes. This is kind of like the same size as a shoe box but obviously they have Christmas prints on. So everything in this video is from Poundland and everything minus one thing is a pound each. So this box is two pounds. And this has got a cute little Santa from. And this is going to be the pamper relaxation hamper that you could get somebody. So that's just the contents inside. So it does fill the box nicely. So the first thing I've put in the hamper are some cosy socks. So this is the item that didn't cost a pound. As well as, as this box actually. That was two pounds. These are two pounds. But you do get two pairs of very fluffy socks. So you get a star print. And then you also get some sort of normal grey socks so yeah i just thought this would be really nice and they are wrapped up really nice with a kind of ribbon silver ribbon bow so i thought that was a really nice touch as well i thought they were really well presented so that's the first item in the pamper box then the next thing i bought is the hol holographic sheet face mask so i thought this actually matches the socks really nicely so this is obviously a sheet mask it says it's got coconut oil and aloe vera in it and it leaves your skin feeling soft, smooth and brighter. So I think that was that would be great for all skin types. And yeah, I just love the packaging of this. I wonder how shiny it's going to be. I just thought this was a nice added touch. Who doesn't love a face mask when they're having a pamper night? The next thing I've put in is this snowflake bath fizzer. So this really fits in nicely with Christmas theme. It, this is obviously holographic as well and it has got lots of glitter in it. When you have a pamper night, you tend to have a bath, don't you? Then the ne next thing I've put in the hamper is the Land of Nod shower gel. So this is just a nice relaxing lavender, sleepy kind of scent. So they did have lots of this Land of Nod range, but I thought if someone isn't too keen on lavender, then you, you're not gonna overpower them by getting them the full set. If someone really likes the set, you could purchase the whole set and put them in this box. But I just thought I'd get a, bit, a few bits and bobs from different ranges to cover kind of all areas so yeah i thought this shower gel was really nice and it does remind me of the sleepy range from lush but obviously this is only a pound and the last thing in this pam pamper is going to be this body butter so they had quite a few different scents of these so i got the cocoa and vanilla so this one's obviously going to be really nice on your skin especially if you're having a pamper night you've just shaved your legs and putting this on top is leaves them so nice and smooth that is everything in the pamper box so you get socks a face mask a bath visor a cocoa butter body butter and you also get some shower gel and then i'm also going to pop a card in so poundland do some really nice cards i picked these up so you get six really nice designs for well, obviously one pound and yeah, they had some really nice ones. Because obviously you're not allowed to see your family at Christmas time, I thought if you got someone a hamper, you might want to put the Christmas card inside. So that's definitely what I'm going to be doing with all of these different boxes. So the total of this hamper box is actually eight pounds. So it's under 10 pounds, really affordable, especially if you're on a budget. So this is the first hamper. So the next hamper is a smaller one. So it's in this cute little snowman blue box. So this one was only a pound. It's a really cute size. And you can fill it with lots of different treats still. So this is going to be the beauty hamper. And I'll show you what I've put inside. So everything, obviously everything in this box is a pound. I know I keep saying that. So the first thing I've put in is the glow up lip balm with vitamin E. And you also get a compact mirror. I find compact mirrors are really handy when you're out and about to pop in your handbag. And then you also get a lip balm. Then I picked up this gorgeous nude eyes eyeshadow palette from the glow up range again. So I thought this would be so nice, even if it's just for a teenager starting off in makeup. I think they would really appreciate this. And the shades actually really remind me of the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. You get two little eye brush applicators. 
and then you obviously get lots of pinky nudie shades and I thought that was just so nice and I do like the packaging of all of these and then the final thing to put in I put the lip gloss and nail varnish set and this is like a pinky nude colour as well I find like pinky nude colours always suit everybody and I just thought this was so nice I love how it's a triangle actually I thought that was so nice and so yeah a lip gloss and a nail varnish so you could do your nails and then put your makeup on and they did have different colors of these i think they had a red one and they might have had like even a purple one maybe but yeah and also the eyeshadow palette they also had like a gray smoky one as well so this box actually only comes to four pounds so including the actual box that comes with it five pounds if you get one of those pack of cards but obviously you can distribute them and you can get more use out of them but yeah, I love this box. I thought it was such a nice, cute beauty box, especially for someone who absolutely loves makeup. I thought they would really appreciate this and everything just looks really nice and it does actually look quite expensive. So yeah, I think someone would really appreciate that this Christmas. Okay, so I'm going to reuse this snowman box. So I, I've only bought one of these, but again, I've just popped it in the snowman box, which was a pound. So this next hamper is a movie hamper. I did get this idea from Mr. Carrington's video, but I do think I've, I have changed a few bits of this box. You can obviously put lots of different things in and Poundland have lots of great movies. I actually found Home Alone and I know Mr. Carrington found Elf. So they do have Christmas movies. If someone's not wanting Christmas movies or obviously after Christmas you don't tend to watch Christmas movies. They did have like 21 Jump Street, Bad Moms, uh, they had The Spy Who Dumped Me. So they do have quite a few well-known films still in there for a pound. So yeah, I found Home Alone in there which was very surprising. I picked up this, I think it's called Guylan. Anyway, it's the classic chocolate that you can get. I think everybody tends to buy it at least one pack of these every Christmas. So these are the Seahorses milk truffle ones and I thought I bought this size because it fits perfectly into the box. So yeah, these are a pound, uh, Home Alone was a pound and then I did pick up a six pack of the Butter Kissed Toffee Popcorn. They do have super big bags of sweet and salty popcorn but obviously it wouldn't have fitted in the box. So I bought a big six pack. So I just opened them and took a few out. So I'd pop two of these in here. I just thought it'd be a really cute idea. So this is the movie hamper, perfect for anybody, anyone who loves watching a film. This box only costs four pounds, five pounds if again you want to put a Christmas card in. But yeah, I'm so happy with these Poundland hamper boxes. I thought they've come out really well and I thought someone would really appreciate having a few little bits and bobs to go through through Christmas. I just think it's a really nice idea to get someone a hamper. You can also buy a hamper but obviously these boxes are a lot cheaper. But yeah, so this is my final hamper. So please let me know down in the comments which your favourite hamper was that I showed. I'm actually so happy with how this turned out. So yeah, that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!